Just, just a pleasure. brief comment on the, on the protesters. I mean, people are misguided. I mean, we know there's gender diversity, don't we? People have different sexual preferences, mm. but the bulk of Australians are comfortable with that, aren't they? Oh, of course. Uh, I, I've got to say, Alan, look, Mark's made it very clear. We don't condone violence. You know, we, we clearly condemn violence. Uh, and it was very unfortunate what ended up occurring last night. But let's also be clear that this is a very small local suburban church, OK, uh, in a tiny little street, uh, a very multicultural, multi-faith community there in Belfield. I don't know why anybody would want to come down and protest down there. Uh, all the church was doing, as have many churches um, throughout this campaign, they've invited a, a host of different political uh, speakers to turn up and, and just debate. It was a quiet debate. Uh, Mark, amongst other speakers, was invited just to address, I think the majority of people were actually older women that were in the room. Uh, they just wanted some advice and some bit of information about parental rights, education, um, religion. They wanted to have a little bit of extra information uh, on what's not being discussed in the mainstream media, mm. but some discussion uh, clearly about faith, mm. religious freedom, a whole host of issues in education and mm. so forth was discussed. But it was very um, peaceful. And I think it's really disturbing that um, people decided to organise the um, a protest against mm. that. It's not the Parliament House. It's not a council building. It's not a public park. It's not the CBD or indeed Oxford Street. It's suburban Belfield, a, mm. a little small church. And yeah. it doesn't surprise me that parishioners and people have become very upset. Uh, and it's just unnecessary. But see, you and Mark Latham, it's very... I love what... One Nation is about on this stuff because it's, in simple language, you're basically saying this stuff doesn't belong in the classroom. I mm. mean, you're saying, and I've been saying it, and Mark's been saying it, that after 12 years of Liberal government, all they've offered in education is to throw more money at the problem, and the standards have slipped, and this stuff's crept into the teaching and the curriculum. What mm. can be done about it? Well, we're just saying that teachers should be teachers. That they're not there to be politicians, Alan. Uh, if teachers want to be politicians, uh, then they can nominate like I have or, or, or as Mark has in the general election. Uh, kids should uh, expect that when they, and parents should expect when they send their children to school, that they're taught the fundamentals of education, whether that's maths, literature, science, history. We want kids to learn the fundamentals of education at school. Absolutely. Uh, we know that they're not being taught that. We know that there's so much left-wing indoctrination now at schools. And, and I'm seeing a lot of my friends, Alan, actually pull their kids out of school. They're homeschooling their kids. Mm. And that shouldn't be happening. It's happening no. because parents well, feel alienated by the education system. But you 